Here we are with the piston and the barrel fitted on this JAP engine now, the 250. Although I haven't actually got the barrel bolted down, but I can do so. A slight disappointment here is that um, at going over top dead centre, the piston crown is at least quarter of an inch short of topping out with the top of the liner. And... Um, I thought that perhaps I'd be able to shorten the cylinder barrel, but having looked at that again, the threaded portion between those two top fins there is quite short anyway. That's where the cylinder head studs or bolts will screw in, so I don't want to lose anything there. And also the cylinder base flange is quite shallow as well, so I don't really want to go... If I removed as much as necessary to get that piston topping out, there'd be no flange left. So I think we're just going to have to go with this and uh, perhaps the owner might like to run the engine and see how it goes and how it performs etc. And maybe keep an eye open for some other kind of piston that might be more suitable with a greater a higher crown height in the future maybe. But it's got a good fit in there. It's, it'll all work. Um, just might not have the sort of compression ratio that we might have been looking for with this one but it's worth giving it a try and seeing how it works I think but there's no way I want to take anything off either end of that cylinder barrel it's uh, really got nothing much to spare as it is well one thing I won't be doing is taking the timing cover back off just to show everybody but um, I've had this timing cover off and back on quite a few times during the course of the day and I ended up making <clears throat> not so much a gasket as a circular paper spacer to fit between the crankcase face and the back of the timing case just to sort of space it out a little bit because what I was finding was the um, the cam followers were binding when I tightened the screws and the nuts up to pull this fully home and um, I didn't like that very much so I wanted to move the timing cover away from the, the outer ends of the uh, cam followers just a little bit so I made it a paper sort of insert to do that. That in turn created more end float on the camshaft than there had been before so I've had to sort of um, make sure that I've got room to spare the magneto drive sprocket to fit onto the camshaft without binding but also take up the end float and that has taken a couple of goes as well and I got that under control by just driving the um, out, outer camshaft bush a little further into the casing but in one instance I moved it a little too far so I had to take the timing cover off again and just move it back a little bit but I've got a happy compromise now where I've got the nut tightened up on the magneto drive sprocket and I can get hold of the sprocket itself and literally find I've just got enough clearance and enough play. There's a little bit of end float there on the camshaft. The, um, the bush in the timing cover is stopping the cam coming as far as it did towards me. And the shoulder on the back of the uh, magneto sprocket is stopping it going perhaps as far in as it could. So the overall movement we got there is probably between five and ten thousandths of an inch. And I'm happy with that, but uh, it was a lot more than that before, so that was worth doing. So it's coming along, we've got all the bottom end together now, and the valve gear, um, or drivetrain for the valve gear is all operational and timed correctly. And I'm happy with everything that I've got there. So I suppose the next thing to do is consider perhaps fitting the cylinder head and see where that takes us. Rounding off today's efforts with this JAP 250 engine, I've now got the entire bottom end ready to go and bolted together for keeps. I thought about fitting the cylinder head but realised that I needed a head gasket. Um, just a sort of ring to fit in the recess very often they're made of copper uh, I didn't have anything that would fit and um, there was no point in trying to fit it face to face 
Although it appears like it may have been lapped in, but I didn't want to take that chance. Everything seemed to touch this face, certainly touched down on this face. So I wasn't too sure about it holding compression. So I came up with this. It's a BSA Bantam 175. It's actually aluminium head gasket. I chopped the ears off it where the uh, stud holes for the Bantam would be and just filed it around a little bit to get it in the recess. It was only about half a millimetre or so too large in diameter. It didn't take too long and I also had to open up the idea of it a little bit as well which I used an abrasive flat wheel in a drill to carefully do and now I've got a nice fitting head gasket for it. So um, we're all ready to pick up next time hopefully and bolt the cylinder head on.